Hello, everyone. It's my great pleasure to meet here, to meet you here, and give the have an opportunity to give the presentation here. Today, I would like to talk about overview of research projects and clinical care in Japan. I'm back here after being gone for six years. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Or at least, I hope that's me. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, my presentation is, cons consists of two parts. First is the <coughs> sorry. First is the current situation in Japan. Specifically, dif the difference before and after the establishment of. Debra Japan. And second part is research projects in Japan. Here is a little background of, Jap of Japan. The population is 126 million, and the area is about 378 kilometers squared with population densities of 340 people per kilometers squared. I was very surprised by the smaller population of New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> but the All Blacks is very strong regardless of the population, so I was very surprised. <laughs> and. Japanese, the number of EB patients is speculated to anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000, and the member of Debra Japan's are uh, about 200. And the members consist of 54 epidermolysis, blossa simplex, 12 junctional EB, and 100 dystrophic epidermolysis, blossa. So about health and medical, medical service in Japan. National health insurance system covers at least 70% of healthcare costs for the whole nation. For example, if a gen general doctor gave me medicine, some medicines, and the cost was 10 New Zealand dollars, I am between 7 to 69 years old, so I would have to pay three New Zealand dollars. And government or, or my company would pay seven New Zealand dollars. In addition to the national health insurance system, we have grant in aid for intractable disease. The patient with intractable disease, including epidermolysis blossa, receive financial support. And I have to read them because I don't remember. <laughs> Maximum out-of-pocket expenses are based on salary. Okay. And the average of the annual income of Japan is this red areas. So, <clears throat> in that case, an EB patient would have to pay maximum 125 New Zealand dollars per month. So, I think this health insurance system is excellent, excellent for me, and but for EB patients, not if it's sufficient enough, not enough, because EP, EB patients could not receive some wound care dressing, any wound care dressings, could not. In 2007, an extraordinary things happened. 
Deborah Japan was established. This is a newspaper article on it. And the, another extraordinary thing has happened. Deborah Japan invited Deborah New Zealand to Sapporo. She is uh, Keiko Miyamoto, the president of Deborah Japan, and also Anna and Humphrey is here. And just to the right of Keiko is Lily <laughs> from the mayor's office. Here. Yeah, that's who the mayor talked about this well, morning. Talk about, uh, ah, yeah, I see. He's here. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> but I want to introduce my proud person, Mr. Sasaki. He helped a lot for establishing the Debra Japan, but he passed away several years ago. Okay. And we know, <coughs> under, we underwent a paradigm shift. EB patients can get wound care dressing in New Zealand, and government and the volunteers supported them a lot in New Zealand. So finally, Keiko Miyamoto <laughs> stood up <laughs> and took action. <laughs> a signature campaign demanding public expenditures was started. And furthermore, permission of usage of various wound dressings at that time the government doesn't allow several dressings, but we want, we request it to use these dressings, such as Mepilex. And finally, about 500,000 signatures were collected. Thank you very much, and thanks to Miyamoto-san. And because of the action, the government Establish a rule, intractable skin disease management fee. And we dermatologists are able to apply this management fee, 10,000 Japanese yen, maybe 125 New Zealand dollars for each EB patient. And with this fee, doctors provide the patients the gauzes, dressings, needles and tapes and so on. And these costs are included in the fee, so patients do not need to pay for those. Also, they prescribe wound care dressings for EB patients, and patients pay co-payment of these medical fees. Basically, they are covered by grant in aid. So it means almost free we can use them. And now, a lot of supporters help us and have the opportunity to inform the public that these dressings, Debra Japan, and epidemiologic blossom in Japan. And this April, I moved to Niigata University from Sapporo, Hokkaido University. And Niigata is very famous for rice, old city, and Japanese sake. So yeah. please visit me when you have time. <laughs> no? <laughs> I don't bring no sake. No sake, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I move on to the next, uh, next one, the research projects in Japan. The epidermis and dermis are connected very tightly. But something is wrong with the protein for attachment, the epidermis and dermis. Dermis and epidermis are separated easily. One of the important adhesion molecules at the dermal epidermal junction is type 7 collagen. Abnormalities of 
type 7 collagen result in dystrophic epidermolysis, bullosa, and the type 7 collagen is mainly produced by keratinocytes and fibroblasts, and the dystrophic AB patients in these cells, they, these cells has, have the mutation in the type 7 collagen gene. As a result, the expression of type 7 collagens is quite low, or the type 7 collagen has dysfunction. And dermis and epidermis are separated. So there have been several strategies for the treatment of EB according to each stage. Cell therapy, gene therapy, and protein therapy to supply the deficient proteins. And in Japan, clinical trials using keratinocytes the, of the cell therapies in Japan. There are several cell types for which we use for EB treatment. Keratinocyte can be used for cultural epidermal autograft or allograft. Fibroblasts can be applied via systemic or local injection. And more marrow transplantation is reported as efficient treatment in the US. And mesenchyma stem cells is a potential cells to treat epidermolysis blossa. And in Japan, clinical trials, trials using keratinocytes and mesenchymal stem cells are conducted. First, cultured epidermal autograft. More than 10 years ago, we performed a pilot study of cultured epidermal autograft. Briefly, we cultured keratinocyte obtained from his back with a recessive dystrophic EB and generated keratinocyte seed. And we put it on the ulcer of the patient on the knee. And two weeks later, the ulcers were epithelialized completely. And during 10 years, after the transplantation of cultured epidermal autograft, the lesions has not recurred at the area. It will be discussed in more detail this afternoon by Dr. Matsumura today. And the other clinical trial is using mesenchymal, mesenchymal stem cells. Mesenchymal stem cells are defined as self-renewable, multipotent progenitor adult stem cells present in various tissues, including peripheral blood, fat tissue, bone marrow, and skin. And the MSCs have the ability to migrate from the bone marrow to the injured site and differentiate into functional <coughs> skin cells. And growth factors secreted from MSCs may potentiate the wound healing process. And allogenic MSCs can survive for a while, while after transplantation. So in Japan, we inject the MSCs around the ulcers. And in another clinical trials is we generate MSC films like this. And we put it on the intractable ulcers several times. Unfortunately, we cannot show the result because these clinical trials is still going. But in near future, I want to show the results. And this is my final slide. I studied gene therapy at Columbia University. And after coming back to Japan, I and 
Dr. Fujita is over there. Here is Dr. Fujita. Started special clinic for EB, first in Japan. And I left, I told you, as I told you that I left Hokkaido University and this is a farewell party which EB patients held me for me. And uh, this is a letter. Maybe a few people can read this, including Humphrey, but <laughs> I will translate. Thank you, Dr. Shinkuma, and goodbye. We, Dr. Shinkuma, lives with epidemiologist Blossa because I am a DDB patient and uh, combat, uh, overcome the EB and enjoy his life. And on the back, Dr. Shinkuma is good looking and gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and gentle. And yeah, and uh, everyone loves you. <laughs> Was not written. No. <laughs> but anyway. So I was I moved to Niigata University and I cannot meet them frequently, but we are EB team forever and keep taking action. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>